extrapyramidal tract which we are going to study is the reticulospinal tract. So for the reticulospinal tract, we basically have to think about the pontine reticular formation and the medullary reticular formation. Pontine reticulospinal tract they descend ipsilaterally in the anterior funiculus. Medullary is in the lateral and your uh, pontine is in the anterior. This is called as the lateral fasciculus and these are called as the anterior fasciculus. So what did we know? We came to know that the pontine, the pontine reticular fibers or the reticular tracts, pontine reticular fibers, they are going to my anterior end. So they are going to come here to the anterior side. Where is my reticular formation present? In the brain stem. This is my reticular formation. Okay. So we have the pontine fibers and we have laterally the medullary fibers. Right. So the fibers which are originating from the pons, they are going to go to the anterior side, ipsilaterally. From here, they give to the internantial or interneurons. And then these interneurons are finally going to go to the motor neurons. Okay. This is how they are there. This is my pontine reticulospinal tract. This is my pontine area. Okay. This is the medullary area, medullary reticular formation. Here are the fibers. So these uh, medullary fibers. They may come down, you know, they may get crossed over, as you see here, they may either get crossed over or they may come, some of them ipsilaterally, they'll come to the dorsal side and look at it, they come to the lateral part of it. And how about the pontine one? Pontine comes to the anterior part of it. The pontine nuclear fibers, the pontine reticular formation, from there, the fibers which are arising, they are called as pontine reticulospinal tracts, which are going to descend down and they are going to terminate to the anterior funiculus or the anterior white column of the spinal cord. Whereas your medullary reticulospinal tract, they may descend down, they may partially cross over, they may descend down to the lateral funiculus okay why am i so stressing about the anterior lateral is that there is some difference for the pontine and the medullary uh, fibers reticulospinal tracts pontine reticulospinal tract is excitatory to the extensors and hence are responsible for the erect posture whereas your medullary reticular formation they are stimulatory to the flexors and they are inhibitory to the extensors and hence are important for sitting or lying down postures. What is the other thing that it is involved in two kinds of motor behavior that is for locomotion and postural control. So they are important for the locomotor and postural control. Postural is standing, sitting, lying down. Actually, you know what posture exactly is? It may be defined as the position which you held between the movements. Like, you know, either you're walking, locomotion means you're on a movement, you know, there and there is always a pattern involved in locomotion. Between the locomotion, that means when you're not in a movement, whatever is your position of your body, that's called as the posture. So you may be either standing, sitting, lying down, bending. So you have these reticulospinal system who are involved in your postural control.